Welcome to Mac Helpers. Let's go back into numbers and let's go ahead and click that blank document that I was using in the previous video. And so this one, I'm going to go under the settings, the wrench tool. And so this is going to be your tools slash settings uh, section. The fine, I kind of went over this earlier, but let's say you had a specific thing. Let's say this document was, the spreadsheet was huge with tons of information. You needed to go to a specific cell because the data was incorrect. You had an outdated uh, previous document or that you were using the information for. But just for an example, I'm going to go ahead and type in alien. You can see that there in the bottom right and see how it automatically already started when I just typed in AL. It had two different sections that were on there. So let's go ahead and do that again. I'll show you that one more time. So A, L, and it's gonna give you the two first two times it pops up. So that first nonsense line I wrote, then alien is the next one. So to go in that again, you, bam, it's right there. It makes it easy to find things. You can go ahead and click the wheel so it's fine and replace, match the case. So let's say you it was uh, it was names or something like that and you needed it all capitalized. That's where you match case, whole words, uh, all that good stuff. That's basically it. And then you can sit there and cycle through. So if I go back to here with the AL, you can sit there and cycle back through. So if you had, let's say, a bunch of names or uh, specific things you're looking for, that's the easiest way to go about doing it. And so the next one here, Let's go ahead back under the tools thing. Let's click settings. Now you can turn off the check spelling, turn off the spelling. So on that crazy word, the CSA child of nuclear soaking alien, see when I turn that off, it automatically takes the red off. So I always leave check spelling on, it's just easy. Comments is cool, you can turn comments on and off. It's just kinda, it helps if you're collaborating with a couple different people on a spreadsheet. You can type, you can add a comment and it just allows people to kinda look at what your ideas were. So like let's say you were kinda tossed between two different ideas. The comments are cool in that feature. Center, ed center guides is just when let's say you're aligning two tables together. It's good because it will line them up directly in their center and the middle. So center, I'm, I'm, I'm saying the center is across. If you were to split it from the top to bottom and middle would be from uh, the middle from the left to the right. And so it's just going to go along those center guidelines. The edge guidelines are going to actually be, let's say on this picture on the right, it's going to actually show those edges. So if you're aligning a couple pictures, you want to make sure they're all the way to the right lined up perfectly. That's what would be good to turn the edge, edge guides on. And then spacing guides is just a little way to kind of, if you, let's say you have three different things in a row, it's going to help you line all three of them out and space them out properly. And then author name is just where you can add Mac Helper. I mean, you could do whatever you want there, but that would just be your name. Um, so that was your settings. Setting a password, this is really important if you are, this is like financial documents, if it has any uh, banking information or anything that you want password protected, this is a great way to uh, just kind of hide this information behind a password. And you go ahead, and go ahead and add a hint as well. And then each time you open that document up, it's gonna ask you to enter your password. Go ahead and click cancel there. And then uh, the next thing is, go back to the toolbar, is the print. So if you wanted to print something and you have uh, this set up to print wirelessly, you can go ahead and just change how these things look. You can split it onto a couple different pages. You could shrink it down or you could just hit the auto fit and it's going to match that page directly to one page. You can go ahead and click landscape mode, see how it automatically did it to two different pages. And then you could shrink it down, let's say you really wanted it on one page. Or go back to portrait and then if you let's say you had a, a bunch of documents see how it's kind of outlining or let's I can zoom in and show you because it automatically splits it to page like one three four and we make it really big it's gonna make it just put it on all of them but I just click on auto fit that's best way to do it then you could print off the different sheets as you see fit click on the settings you can add page numbers turn page numbers off see how it's the one there you pretty small turn those off and on Repeat on each page is the same. You could put the same header over and over again. And then you could pick your letter size. And then you would just go ahead and click print. And then you'd select a printer. But since I don't have any air printers at uh, my office here, I've got everything kind of hardwired, still old school style. But if you have an air print capable printer, that would be a way to just go ahead and print it. You can pick how many copies you want, all that good stuff. And then I'm going to go ahead and click done. Now let's open up the toolbar one more time. And then this is kind of going back more into the help thing, kind of like that question mark I showed you. Now this is great because it really shows you 
how to get into more information on there. And I'm actually going to go over this a little bit more, but I just wanted to show you where that was located at. And that's it for the wrench, the tool, the tool icon. It's going to be a great way if you really need to adjust the formatting of the document, not particularly the data or anything inside the document itself, but more of the overall feel and how the more of how numbers itself runs. So if you have any questions, email us at info at your Mac helpers or uh, visit our website yourmachelpers.com and click the help uh, the help link and we'll be able to help you out as soon as possible. So thank you very much.